Welcome in Karibuni to our Rome of Zanzibar's Ramadan special collaboration and I'll be sharing with you how I'm making my meatball curry and Farhat Yami will be sharing with us how she's making her lamb curry and Shuna's Kitchen will be sharing with us how she's making her boneless chicken curry. Recipe today I'm using two pounds of ground beef and I'm also using one and a half cups of shredded zucchini which is optional for those of you who are not familiar zucchini looks like this and I've got panko breadcrumbs you can use any type of breadcrumbs or if you don't have you can soak about two slices of bread and squeeze all the water out and uh, some diced onions black pepper salt and also fresh ginger and garlic paste I've got half a cup of all-purpose flour an egg and some blanched tomatoes so I'm going to start by mixing my zucchini into the uh, the ground beef. Uh, like I said, it's optional, but I really like to hide vegetables in meals like this because you know the kids can't really tell on the in the taste. You really can't taste the difference. So if you don't want or you don't have, it's okay. Then I added my fresh ginger and garlic paste, black pepper, salt, and the egg, and we just want to mix it well. And then I'm going to put the breadcrumbs. I've used about uh, one cup all right so you just want to mix it well and then I'm going to add I'm using my all-purpose aroma of Zanzibar seasoning spices so you can use any type of curry spices that you have and then cilantro and we're just gonna mix it well And then after that, I like to cover it and keep it in the fridge for like two hours. Now so I have peeled the skin out of the tomatoes and I'm using a food processor, but you can use a blender to blend these. I do have a video on how to blanch the tomatoes. I will put it in the description box below. So my tomatoes are ready and I'm ready to make my, to shape my meatballs. I've got a tray with my all purpose flour and I'm using a spoon like this just to have the same shape and size, but it's not really necessary. Now, the reason why I use flour is because I like to create a crust on my meatballs. So I've got a tray, which I'm going to be using it for today. And these are extra that I will bake and freeze them for later use. So on my high heat over here, I've got one tablespoon of oil. And then I'm just drizzling the, uh, the flour on the meatballs to make sure they're covered well. And make sure the heat is high because we want to create a crust. If you don't have your heat high it will just have a moisture and you will not have a crust so I just cook these in like uh, maybe two minutes on each side we're not really cooking this through we're just creating a crust all right then I just flip them on the other side and it's not necessary if you if you don't want to do this it's okay all right so we just take them out and then the same pan now on medium, make sure you reduce the heat. I've got about two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil and I put my diced onions and we're just gonna saute these for about four to five minutes. So until they're brown or whatever color you desire. Now in the meantime here, I've got my oven ready at 400 and I'm gonna bake these at 400 on 10 minutes on each side. And then once they're cool, I freeze them for later use. So my onions are ready. And I'm using Aroma of Zanzibar all-purpose spices, which I use them for my curries and vegetables. But if I'm making this dish for my spaghetti, I would use Italian seasoning. If I want an Indian touch, I would use garam masala. All right, so now I'm adding my fresh and ginger garlic paste, about one teaspoon, and then just saute it. And then I was about to add the tomato paste, about two tablespoons, but I don't know what happened. I missed it over there, so please excuse me. And then after that, I added my tomatoes and cooked. Now you want to bring them to a boil. And once they come to a boil like this, I just reduce the heat and simmer it for about 30 to 35 minutes. We basically want to cook the tomatoes well because they had a lot of juices. So as you can see, it's like this. Now, at this point, my tomatoes were tasting more of, uh, you know, boiled effect. So I decided to add a tablespoon of oil so it will give it a fried effect, like a curry. All right. So 
we're just going to fry this for about four minutes to five minutes like this and now i'm ready to add my liquid at this point i used um beef uh, beef stock homemade i know i didn't share with you yet and my green chili but you can use water as well it's okay or vegetable stock if you have all right so again we bring it to a boil for about uh, five minutes i mean simmer it for about five minutes and then you add the meatballs okay so we just add our meatballs and then once we add our meatballs you just want to mix it well all right and then we simmer for about 10 minutes to make sure that all those goodness the juices they all get into the meatballs as well and then after that i'm just gonna put in my cilantro now if i'm doing this for pasta i will use parsley all right and then we're gonna squeeze in some lemon and that's it we are very good to go and so thank you so much for more recipes please visit me at aroma of zanzibar and you'll find all the ingredients and the measurement in the description box below and please don't forget to visit our wonderful ladies farhat yami check out her recipe and shuna's kitchen please do check out her page for her wonderful recipes thank you so much